So we will now continue with our previous tutorial. So for this tutorial, we are going to talk about the laws of electromagnetic induction. So there are two laws of electromagnetic induction. The first one is Faraday's law and the second one is Lenz's law. So we will talk about Faraday's law right now. So Faraday's law states that the magnitude of the induced electromotive force which we commonly known as EMF is directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux linkage. So the definition uh, basically means that the magnitude of the induced EMF the greater the rate of change of magnetic flux linkage, the greater the magnitude of induced EMF. So it's probably um, the more you move the magnet, which causes the rate of change of magnetic flux linkage, the faster you move the ma magnet, the greater the magnitude of induced EMF. So Since the induced EMF increases when the rate of change of flux increases, hence the induced current is increased when number one. Stronger magnet is used. So when the magnet is stronger than before, the magnetic flux linkage will be greater as well. That's why the induced current is increased. So the second condition, the speed of relative motion is increased. So what does this relative motion here mean? It means that the motion of cutting through flux means that um, when you move the magnet faster, it causing a greater um, greater in rate of change of magnetic flux linkage. Therefore, the induced current is increased. So, we move on to the Lenz law. Lenz law states that the induced current always flows in such a direction which opposes the change causing it. So it's um, not really easy to understand based on the definition. So now I explain it using diagrams and show you the examples. So for the first one, we have a solenoid uh, which coil with wires and we have a magnet here. So I just put it as north pole here and south pole here. And the solenoid is right here. So we move the magnet towards the solenoid. So the north pole is here and the south pole is here. So the motion, the change, which, which is also the motion, is in this direction. So based on the Lenz law, the induced current flows in such a direction which opposes the change, or we can say the motion causing it. In this case, the change or the motion is the change of 
the motion of the magnet. So, what do we have to do to oppose this change? So, we know that a north pole is here. So, the induced current must act in a way with, so that it causes this side to be a north pole. We know that same pole, they repel. So, it will oppose the motion causing it. So, applying the right-hand grip rule, I hope you, st you still remember it. Right-hand grip rule shows that this is the north pole. So, how does the current flow? It flows like this. So, the direction will be here, here. So, in this case, this side of the solenoid will act as a north pole. That's why it will repel the motion causing it. So, same thing we do for this one. So, here is north pole, here is south pole. Same towards the right direction. So, opposes the motion causing it. So, at this side, what should it be? You need to repel the magnet. So, at this side will be a temporarily south pole. So, how should, um, how should we make this solenoid a south pole at this point? So, applying the right-hand grip rule, it flows in this direction. So, the current will be like this. It flows in this direction. Here is the south pole. Next, a north pole, a south pole of magnet. And then, we move the magnet away from the solenoid. So, we need to know that it opposes the change causing it. So, when it's away, you need to oppose the motion. So, you need to pull it back. So, you have to be a temporarily south pole here so that it opposes the direction of motion. So, the induced current will be applying the right-hand grip rule. The induced current will be flowing in this direction. Next. Pull the magnet away from the solenoid. So, we have to have a temporary north pole at this point so that it opposes the change which is away from the solenoid causing it. So, this point should be a north pole. So, how should the induced current flow so that this point is north pole? Applying the right-hand grip rule once again. So, in this direction, So, this is how the induced current will flow in the wire. So, I hope you understand about it. So, Lenz law is also basically a form of the law of conservation of energy. So, we can see that there is opposing force occurring here. You have to oppose the motion. So, a work done must be done to overcome the opposing force. So, the work done to oppose the force is converted into electrical energy which creates the induced current. This is why we can say that Lenz law is also a form of law of conservation of energy. So that's it for the two laws of electromagnetic induction. Uh, I hope you understand well. So see you next time on the next tutorial. Goodbye.